Gospel of July the 29, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother, Lazarus, who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise, in the resurrection of the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? He said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, of course, we are celebrating the feast of the saints Lazarus, Martha, and Mary, the brothers of Bethania, of Bethania, the hosts of the Lord in that welcoming house. We see the Lord, according to the Gospel of John, in his climax, in his climax. John has shown him to be the Lamp of God, has shown him to bring joy in the wedding of Cana, has shown him to us to cure, to feed, to drive out demons. And now the Lord himself shows himself as God and giver of life. If we can read a little bit of this gospel, we can read how when he was a little, by, a little bit far and he was told that Lazarus was ill, he remained in the place for a few days to allow for Lazarus to die. Not because he did not love him, he loved him dearly. As a matter of fact, when he came back, he cried there seeing the Lord, seeing the sisters crying. Now we see this encounter where when Martha is meeting the Lord, she is quietly, passively, but effectively arguing with him. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. Those words, quite unfortunately, are repeated many days, many times nowadays. Whenever something bad happens, either to us or to people that we love, we tend to think that God is not with us, that He has somehow forsaken us. But everything that happens I propose to you that has three roots, three causes. The first thing is the natural law that God Himself has implanted on this cosmos. All of us will grow old and die as a rest from the works of this life. And we can perceive that dying as something bad if we have not faith. But if we have faith, then we will know that that dying on this world is only turning the threshold into eternal life. The second source is also external. It's the abuse of the freedom of our brothers. Rather than do good, come back and do evil and harm us. And it can go all the way for them to kill you or me. And it would seem that God is not looking. And lastly, but not leastly, our own bad deeds, the abuse of our own freedom. When we turn our backs on God, it's not God who wants to send death to us, but us who grab the salary of sin and then because we have grabbed the salary of sin, 
we become dead. That is the salary of sin. God does not want that. Yet God has the power to not let anything happen that will go against us. Just as the psalm says, everything happens for the benefit of those who love the Lord. So if we are faithful, if we really want to see the glory of the Lord, then we have to be faithful and accept whatever happens. For God himself will show his strength by saving us, just as he saved his son. Today we see this Lord saying, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And every, anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. You and I, I because right now I'm speaking this, and you because you are listening, are alive. And if we believe in the Lord in that way, we have the assurance, the word of God, that we will not die. And that is such great news. We know what happened next when the Lord went into the tomb of Lazarus. After four days, the stench of the decomposing body went away by the word of the Lord. Lazarus, get out. And the dead got out. Many that did not believe in the Lord, when they saw that, believed in Him. We, that we might have experienced the Lord in different ways, are also called to believe in the Lord today. Let us humbly ask that even without seeing the dead rise from the tomb, we might come to believe what Martha stated so nicely, I have come to believe that you are the Son of God. Messiah who was coming into the world. May God himself plant that faith in each of you and me and all his children. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all brothers.